your energy forecast for April 2024. So on April 29th, we are going to watch Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, move into her rulership here in Taurus energy. So of course, Venus just shifted into her brand new cycle by moving into Aries energy just a couple of weeks ago. That kind of brought the spark back, that brought the tenacity back, that really had a change of heart, a change of worth, a change of values. We are definitely more of a fire starter now. We're more aggressive to actually declare what it is that we want, declare what it is that we need, what we desire, and we're not afraid to go after it. But of course, as we follow the zodiac wheel, what spark gets ignited in Aries energy, we start bringing to life, we start bringing into form in Taurus energy. So of course, Venus is already in her rulership because we are in Taurus season. And having her actually take her throne in Taurus energy is a beautiful energy for us to be working with, especially seeing as we just kind of brought forth this new version of self, we're a little bit more present, we're grounded, we're anchored in this new version of self, we're exploring this new version of self. Venus and Taurus energy really gets us kind of in touch with our natural disposition, our five senses. It really pushes us to find peace and harmony and contentment within us. Really understanding that, yeah, okay, the world is kind of crazy, but we don't have to take part in that. We can focus on the small little things and the run of our day, the small little magics, beauty, if you will, that really brings hope and glimmer and happiness and joy and safety and security into our physical realm. Of course, Venus, is definitely all up in the relationship dynamics in this Taurus energy because again we are connecting to the five senses we want connection we want intimacy we want our person but at the same time we are really reevaluating what that person is actually is to us. So for those of you that are in committed relationships, we are seeing certain qualities, characteristics in our partners that we haven't seen before, whether we're appreciating them or not, doesn't really matter. We're having a change of perspective of what truly matters, what kind of value and worth they're bringing to our lives. And for those of you that are single out in the world, this is really helping to anchor in a new self-worth. Because again, the relationship dynamic that we build within ourselves is what triggers and activates the attraction to the people in our external realm. We are merely attracting partners and suitors that are going to reflect back to us the inner work in which we've done. So it doesn't really matter whether you're in a relationship or not, our values our, our real wants, needs, and desires are changing. And we're thinking more long-term now than ever before. So, you know, in this particular energy, we really want to enjoy ourselves. We want to enjoy the creature comforts. We want to find a happy balance, a happy medium, in not only in our physical bodies, but in our relationship dynamics. We are very much present. So again, the here and now is the main focus. And we're really looking to have not only the attitude of gratitude in this present moment, but we're looking to make the best out of this present moment. Again, the Taurus energy is earth energies. It does kind of, you know, make us very aware of our physical bodies, of our physical forms, and it opens up the world of the five senses to us. Again, we use the five senses to navigate our physical environment, to gauge what is good, what is bad, what feels good, what feels bad, what we want more of, what we want less of, and really just rapidly formulating new thoughts, new perspectives, new ideas, new opinions on what we need to do, what we need to change in the physical realm. So yes, Venus is all about love and connection and relationships and romance. But again, it starts with a solid foundation of self-worth. And because we just had this new version of self kind of pop out, because it's still very unfamiliar, we do have a little bit of self-love, self-worth work to do within us before we're going to really understand the new vibration and frequency that we're operating from and that we want to start kind of attracting like-minded people. So the downside, I would say, because there's a shadow aspect to every energy, is that there is a strong stubbornness that comes with 
Taurus energy. It is a fixed earth sign. Um, and we do have a lot of, I'm going to say possessiveness that tends to come up. We, you know, have to understand that the Taurus energy is where we accumulate resources in our physical realm. And because Venus is all about love and money, we're really concentrated on who we have, what we have and who and what we want to gain from here. And so it could kind of highlight some possessiveness in partnerships. It could highlight our want, need, and desire to kind of tweak the energetic exchange in our relationship dynamics. Um, but we also just have to keep in mind that nothing and no one actually belongs to us. And so we're all on loners from, you know, the higher realms of source and intelligence. And because we kind of get caught up in this physical realm, there is a realization that, again, we don't own people and people don't own us. So we're really starting to, I'm going to say, play into the eclipse energies that, of course, we just came out of that were kind of showing us where it is that we're too intertwined, too interconnected with some relationship dynamics and where it is that we meet, need a little bit more time, energy, space and distance to get to know ourselves once again. So we're going to be trying to strike that particular balance. Now on the money matter side of things, uh, Venus and Taurus, we like nice things. We like things that make us feel good. We like things that look nice. We like high quality things. We also like things that are going to be logical and practical and are going to be very long lasting. So, you know, when it comes to finances, I'm going to say like we're a little bit more reserved, I would say, because there's this element fixed energy where we're holding on to the things that we've already kind of accumulated. And we have, I'm not going to say a hard time spending our money, but we're very reserved and conservative when it comes to spending our money. Now, when it comes to creature comforts, this is where we're we're a little bit overindulgent. So with food, um, you know, with all these types of, of different, let's call them expenditures, you know, entertainment, food, anything that makes us feel good, anything that makes us happy and bringing a sense of joy and pleasure to this present moment. Those are the things that we would most likely want to be spending our money on. But at the same time, we have Jupiter in this Taurus energy, which expands, magnifies things and overindulgence is definitely a cautionary tale that we have to look out for while Venus is moving through her rulership. So no doubt, this is definitely going to be a grounding present type of energy. We're going to become very aware of our wants, needs and desires, especially with what it is that our physical body actually needs from us to feel healthy and well off and well tuned. Again, we're in this integration recalibration phase, but we're definitely going to see the role kind of slow down just a tad in order for us to gain a bigger, broader perspective on what it is that our heart, our soul actually needs. <laughs> 